Hello friends, excuse the uh, unprofessional and uh, glamorless uh, uh, technicalities of this video, but watch it for the content and nothing else. Uh, I want to bring your attention to uh, a strange situation uh, that happened, which is an example of a woman's fierce pursuit of hypergamy at all costs, including cannibalizing each other. We got here Miss Su Yin Previn, who is a uh, South Korean born adopted daughter of Miss Mia Farrow, which you see here on the left here. It's interesting because she was the adopted daughter of, of Mia Farrow while her boyfriend was the famous movie director and actor, Mr. Woody Allen. And later on, Mr. Woody Allen goes to uh, proceeds to marry Miss Su Yin, and she gladly agrees. And it was a very controversial, you know, turn of events all over the news and everything. Uh, but uh, they were they got married. They got married, and uh, uh, she basically pissed off her uh, adoptive mother, and now they're husband and wife for uh, since uh, I think. Uh, uh, 19, uh, 1997 or something like that. The point uh, is that when it comes to uh, hypergamy, when it comes to uh, women deciding between their security and everything else, guess what they choose? She did not care how pissed off uh, her uh, adoptive uh, mother and uh, boyfriend <laughs> of her soon-to-be husband would be. She went after her own hypergamy and she chose to look out for number one and marry Mr. Woody Allen. I'm sure uh, it would be a safe guess that it wasn't for Mr. Woody Allen's dashing uh, looks and the fact that uh, well, he's, he's 86 now, and she is 51. So we got 51, 61, 71, about 27, 28 years uh, age difference. Uh, obviously, uh, this was a, a marriage of convenience. And hey, I'm not blaming her. Probably if I was a woman, I would do the same thing because a woman's nature is placing security over and above all else. But I wanted to make this video to give you yet another example in case there were any doubts that to women, security and their own well-being and their own future and their own uh, safe home and being taken care of matters over and above everything else. You might say that one through 10 is that and everything else starts from 11 maybe, if not later longer if not lower on the list they go for that and uh you know uh, if she could find uh someone uh you know with higher net worth than him if the situation presented itself i'm sure she would go for it but you know i guess it didn't you know woody allen is a very very uh, successful uh movie director actor he's a very accomplished man very talented man as as you probably know by watching his uh, movies uh you know he's, uh, he makes quality deep uh, movies and uh you know she uh she is not particularly a, 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 an attractive uh, you know uh, person you know um, i know looks are uh, uh, objective but I mean, uh, perhaps he's the best she could do, given the circumstances. And, you know, he was familiar. You know, she already was very familiar with him. She was the, he was the boyfriend of her adoptive mom. So they very well knew each other. The relationship really developed while Woody Allen was still involved with her adoptive mom. But she didn't care. She didn't let that get in the way of pursuit of her hypergamy. And that's the way it goes. So never have any doubts as to what's most important to women. It's not you, it's the offer on the table, always, always. There are no exceptions to that, just like there's no exception to the gravity. Every time you jump off a balcony, chances are 100% you're going to hit the ground. There are no exceptions in that. 
and there is no exception in hypergamy. Don't ever say, oh, but this was different. Oh, but she was different. Oh, but this situation was a little bit. No, it's not. It's not. Don't find out the hard way. Take my word for it. There is always going to be gravity and women are always going to place security of themselves as number one. All the best, gentlemen, and once again, forgive the technicalities of this video, but I just, my, my purpose was to get a point across, which I hope I've done. All the best.